Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. The new version 2.9.9.4 of the myninuxwork.files for Hyperland is now available for you to download just before the Christmas break to update your system or to try the myninuxwork.files for the first time. The new version comes with a new glass theme, the new default theme for Waybar, for NWG Doc Hyperland and for the window decorations. I received very positive feedback from the beta version and now I decided to use this as a standard. In addition, you will get a new cursor theme, a bit colored cursor theme that fits very well to the overall design of the desktop, plus a lot of new command line interface tools. Commands where you can directly execute functions of the MyLinuxForWork.Files from the terminal which will speed up your workflow, especially if you are using terminals and terminal commands a lot. So I hope you will like it. It's still in preparation, but um, please share your feedback in the comments or as a GitHub issue, if you like it or if, if you have more ideas to improve the CLI interface. And with that, let's jump in. Welcome to the version 2.9.9.4 of the My News for Work doc files. You see here the welcome app uh, where you have access to several settings where you can access all web resources. So everything is here available. And you see already the first uh, big change. Now the new class theme that is um, chip with the dot files is now the new standard theme for the desktop. Yeah, you see here on Waybar, you see it here um, in NWG Doc Hyperland. You see it in the border design in the terminals and all windows. So this is the new default theme. Yeah, and you can change the theme to the old one by clicking here the sidebar and then here on the theme button. And then you see that here are several variations available, the glass theme and the modern theme. So you can switch back to the modern theme. Uh, and there are also variants if you want to use Walker as the application launcher. But you have to install Walker separately. So this is the new um, glass theme and you see a new mouse pointer. Yeah, also something that fits a bit more to the overall design. The mouse pointer is a bit smaller. Um, and you will see also here in theme, if you switch to set GTK theme, here also variations of the mouse pointer. This is a blue one. Then we have here a red one and a green one. And you can decide which fits best to your overall um, wallpaper, to your overall design. But you also see that the uh, former Bibata uh, modern cursor themes are still available and you can choose from. And the new version brings new terminal commands. Yeah, so let's open a terminal. I know a lot of you prefer working completely in the terminal or a lot in the terminal. And I also have to say from my side, I really like that. And that's why um, I have created new commands Yeah, where you can use dot files functions directly in the terminal. Yeah, for example, an app launcher. When you enter apps, an app launcher will be loaded is uh, an FCF supported app launcher. And you can search for um, applications that are installed on your system. And with return, you can execute, for example, here, the dot files installer or Firefox. Yeah, so everything can be launched also directly now from the terminal. You can also switch the wallpaper. Yeah? When you enter wallpaper, you have here a wallpaper selector. Yeah? Let's switch to not wall three. Yeah, and then we have switched to another wallpaper. Well, the AI machine yeah, and you see also here the glass theme is following, of course, from a color perspective, the current wallpaper. Yeah, so this is also now implemented. But you can also enter Finder. Yeah, and in Finder, you have a fuzzy search. For example, if you want to go into slash config, 
my Linux for work folder and in the new bin folder, you see that you can select the folder and you will be moved directly into that folder. And here are the new scripts located and uh, aliases are already added to the um, um, CSH config or the bash config. Yeah. Another new script is screenshot. And if you wanted to have a screenshot, you can enter screenshot. You can select here the area mode. You can say, okay, I'm wait for two seconds. And then you can create a screenshot. Yeah. The screenshot path and um, the file format can be set in the .config my Linux for work settings folder. You, here are all my Linux for work settings. And here is the screenshot editor, screenshot file name and screenshot folder settings. So let's open the screenshot folder, for example, file, and you see it's currently set to pictures. Yeah, so in this folder, the files screenshots will be stored. The next script is a quick link script. So when you enter quick, you have here access to completely individual quick links. For, for me, it's important to have a fast access to the My Linux for Work homepage. Yeah, and here is the My Linux for Work homepage. Or you can also execute directly other scripts. For example, the app launcher. Here's the app launcher, yeah. Also working. This list is very easy to configure. You just need to create a file in your home directory dot quick links and here you can create a list of entries yeah and this file then will be loaded directly into the quick script the quick links script yeah here we are and then you can use it to open web pages and to run other scripts easily you can find all updates and new features for the version 2.9.9.4, of course, like always in the change log file. And also here you see that I really invested a bit more time into these new commands. Yeah, also the file manager command, yeah, opens Yazi if it's installed on your system. And yeah, more CLI tools will come, will come soon. I will really want to invest a bit more time into using CLI tools because I have seen it, it's very, very fast. You can also enter lock, for example, to open the lock screen. Yeah, so you, you find all new commands here in the uh, in the change lock. You can also enter system, and you have Btop opening. So also here, something which is hopefully helpful for your for your workflow. And that's it. That's the new version 2.9.9.4 of the My Linux for Work files for Hyperland ready for you just before Christmas break. I hope you like the new features, the new glass theme and the new CLI commands. Please share your feedback in the comments or, or open an issue on GitHub and share your ideas. Every comment is super welcome and very much appreciated. With that, have a great Christmas break. See you next year and have fun with the new version of the Meldings for Dogfiles Fiberland.